Narok County Commissioner Arthur Osia has asked residents to provide workable solutions to the flooding menace in Narok Town. While addressing a requiem mass for 12 people who perished in floods that swept through Narok Town last week, the county commissioner said the floods sweeping through the town emanate from the Mao Forest, which has suffered wanton destruction. Najua hapa kwetu, hata hii barabara ya Bomet, Nairobi, lazima tuwe wangalifu. Kwa sababu mvua inanyesha mlimani na inateremuka chini na nguvu mingi sana. The county commissioner called on leaders from within Narok County and its environs to help in finding a solution that will see families living in the Mau resettled away from the forest. Kama hiko giza kwa mawingu, tuchunge watoto, Tumeambia walimu waku, waambie wazazi, na bado tunaimiza kwamba tuangalie watoto wanapotembea msaza jioni jioni. Narok Governor Samuel Ole Tunai asked for unity of purpose in resolving the Mao issue instead of the unwarranted grandstanding. Tuweke tofauti za kisiasa kando tuone ya kwamba Yule ile familia ambayo imepoteza mali, ile familia ambayo imepoteza e, wapendwa wao, tuone vile sisi wote kama viongozi tutawashughulikia. Sio kuweka siasa jambo kama hilo. Lazima sasa tutapute suluhisho kamili ya kuondoa janga hili katika kaunti yetu. Ningependelea kuona viongozi wote wa Naro County wakiongozwa na gavana Seneta wabunge wote wa Naro wakiketi hapa kuomboleza pamoja na familia hizi ambao wamepoteza watu wao. The Kenya Meteorological Department in its 7 days weather forecast has warned that the next 7 days will see the Lake Victoria Basin, highlands west of the Rift Valley, Central and South Rift Valley including Nakuru, Narok, Kajiado, Kericho, Bomet, Kakamega, Vihiga experiencing heavy rainfall. During the seven days, the high intensities of rainfall is also expected along the coastal strip. Judith Akolo, Channel 1 News.